hey, remember on August 1st when I was like, I got a weird Jedi feeling for watching out for a land falling hurricane or tropical storm around August 20th? And technically we're on full red alert from the 20th through the 27th for hurricanes. Remember that? Well, the latest GFS run has Europe or the UK getting hit by a Category 1 hurricane on August 12th and Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida getting hit with a Category 1 hurricane dun 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 on August 21st, which is still in that danger window we are going to be watching like hawks. Because hawks watch stuff really well. Caleb Patel showing the GFS and it is also suggesting category one or two hurricane forming in the Black Sea between Trabzon and Kastamonu in Turkey. Remember the crazy heat and the crazy wildfires have been happening there and in that part of Europe. So I wouldn't be surprised. We've been seeing a lot of weird weather lately. Plus England and the UK continues to be getting hit with wave after wave after wave of lows. So we have two players on the board. We got a lemon and a long cherry and they're both aimed at the East coast of the USA. Although this one could go low and this one goes high. And so we will track every move obsessively from now until, well, the end of hurricane season. The latest NavGen also suggests two cyclones in the Caribbean and the Atlantic. This would be August 13th. And that definitely looks like trouble. You know what I'm saying? The Euro shows one cyclonic type development in the window of August 13th and several multiple runs have shown, you know, the possibility of a low definitely approaching or hitting the coast around the 20th. So we still got two weeks really before anything super major would happen. Asterisk as weird as 2020 is, there can always be pop-up cyclones and hurricanes, but nothing sniffing them out now. And like I said, I've always had the feeling about August 20th, and then we're watching for possibly another one around the 27th, and then the 9th of October and the 20th of October. Those are the dates I'm throwing out there for everybody. I do that. I've been doing this for a while. I don't know, eight years now. Um... So this is me giving y'all my comprehensive Thor News hurricane coverage. Keeping you updated, prepared. And this one definitely has the look. Not only does it have the look out of the two, it's the one that's supposed to go low. And low would make it more dangerous. That If this one goes high or both of them go high, the Azores High would have a better chance of tearing it to shreds. If they stay low, it's got a better chance of forming. Remember, the waters are really hot. Okie dokie, Captain Smokey. I'm watching the things and keeping y'all posted. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, I still got $317 left to raise in my Thor News August fundraiser. If you're interested in contributing, that would be wonderful. And thank you to everybody out there who has contributed to Thor News in any way, shape, or form ever. I love you. Have a great night. Let's have a great weekend. And everybody stay cool. Peace out.